G'day guys, Mackie with the Air Circle, and today I want to take a look at the changing aesthetic of Nurgle over time with Games Workshop, uh, specifically the 40k uh, Nurgle. Now, I'm not saying if it's right or wrong or anything like that, I just want to compare some of the older models to some of the newer models, and maybe try and look at why some people don't really like the new ones, and why Nurgle doesn't quite feel the same anymore. And this is entirely subjective, but I'm going to try and quantify it with some side-by-side -side examples. So let's see how we go, hey? So here we have the old Plague Marine Squad. This is the one which is um, white metal originally. Now it's made out of fail cast. And it came out in about 4th edition or 3.5 actually. Yeah, 3.5 this kit dropped. Replaced the Monopose Nurgle play, plastic Plague Marines. Anyway, interesting thing to note, the color scheme. The greens are very much an off green. It's never the one shade. It's always changing, like the paint is damaged or tarnished or rubbing off them or something. It doesn't feel right. It's very dirty. Uh, same with like the little loincloth here. It's an off white, clearly stained and just ugh, nasty colors. The diseased, decaying, pale grey flesh of their skin. The fact that they look like they're physically in pain. They've got furrowed brows and, um, in some cases, exposed bone from their skull. And For its time, fantastic kit. Obviously, compared to today's stuff that's been CAD sculpted, which has just so much going on, this looks a little bit boring. I can totally understand that. But by the stands of the time, this is great. And... You know, and it conveys that emotion. Yes, there's the Nurgle icon of three is in there, but it's not every single piece of armor. He doesn't have 16 plague sensors hanging off him on chains, and it's simple. And you can clearly tell they're plague marines. You put these guys next to corn berserkers, you'll know who's who. You know, there's bits of bones running down the arm and all sorts of stuff. It's fantastic. Forge World also made their own resin upgrade kit. And this one was more in the style of the older Plague Marines, which these ones replaced. And you'll see that these ones have the pickle halb, pointed helm type thing going on. This dude has a very zombified, decayed face. Um, the armor is quite damaged and exposed in areas. And again, uh, it looks great. The symbol of threes is being carried over to all the segments of the armor, uh, which is fine because it's their shoulder pads, their iconography. This is also at a time where uh, Nurgle decals really weren't a thing. Uh, there was like a couple of symbols and that's it to pick from on the generic chaos sheet. So it added a little bit of flavor to the army. When you see them built, you can see there's like maggots crawling over them. And this guy is clearly not happy. He's in pain, but I'm sure he's learned to cope with his existence. Same thing again with the Terminators. They've got very similar styled helmets to Typhus. They have little rebreathers going on in the mask. Um, that plagued and decayed look, again, it's there. There's lots of rot in the armor, lots of little holes that have been sculpted into it, and even the faces are decayed away on the shoulder pads, and looks great. When we look at these guys painted up, again, they've gone for pale tones, colors that are easily viewed as dirty or easy to dirty colors um, look at this guy's eyes he just looks like he's menacing in pain necrosis the special character who's now just referred to as nurgle chaos lord uh, he has some of the things that we would consider normal on the new sculpts big mutated leg mutated arm but also he's got big boils and sores coming out of his armor and you can actually see the flesh that's underneath the armor that's actually bloated, distended and is busting through the carapace of his armor. And you can see in the close-up details that like he's quite poxy on the flesh and his face is falling apart and that's great, that's fantastic. Even in his mutated legs there's big holes and blisters and sores and ugh, nasty stuff. Looks fantastic. Same thing again, like you can see big holes going through his shoulder pad and exposed layers of bone and flesh underneath and you know, you can, I've had this model personally, it's, it's fantastic, it looks really awesome. 
Here we have the fail cast. Um, again, originally came out in white metal, uh, Nurgle Demon Prince. And he has the whole Nurgle thing going on. This time it's been dialed up a little bit with three here, here, on here. Um, the fly motif in the gun hand, but again, lots of pustules. He has torn open exposed flesh. Like you can see beneath the skin, the muscle, the tendons, and all that good stuff. His, his face, he has like the crazy eye. Uh, the big goiter type neck thing. Like you can clearly tell he's like cancerous and diseased and disgusting. This is the last point, I think, where Nurgle was Nurgle in 40k. Um, now, Demons is a different issue. Demons have always been a bit of fun because they embody... Nurgle the god and his jovial side whereas Nurgle's mortal followers they're they're embittered they're arrogant they're uh, the death guard the death guard legion are very solitary proud of themselves uh, they've got a very different attitude to what the demons of Nurgle have Mortarion is very self-hating in the books um, especially as the heresy goes on he really hates what he becomes the last time I think that Games Workshop was doing Nurgle right was probably Fantasy, right before they Age of Sigmar'd it. Uh, back in the end times, they released the Blight Kings. And these guys look right. Yeah, okay, there's some cartoonish stuff starting to creep in, but in Fantasy, I think it's, it's a lot more allowed, because the mortal followers of Chaos in Fantasy, they were truly fans of their gods. They were not embittered followers like in 40k who have fallen to the Dark Gods. The people in fantasy freely worshipped them in many cases. And you can see here that like they've got corpse-like faces and they've got big holes in them and uh, bloated bits of flesh and bile and pustules and intestines hanging out and bits of their armour rotting off and looks great. Again, here's one of our HQ options and he has like literal pus oozing out of his intestines and wounds and lots of gnarly bits of flesh. And then we get to Festus. Now Festus actually came before a lot of the uh, models I've just shown. But you can see on Festus a clear change um, of styles. This model is just fun. He is more like a Nurgle demon than a lot of the other mortal followers. Because you can see he's happy. He's doing what he loves and he it's almost like he doesn't even know that the guy below him is just melting and dissolving under his, you know, mix of chemicals and noxious stuff that he's giving him. And that's alright in fantasy. Doesn't work so well in 40k as we'll go on to explain shortly. So again, I'll refer you to this Demon Prince. The standard of Nurgle Demon Prince for about 10 years that everyone accepted. Now compare it to Mortarion. What do you see? Alright, it's subtle little things. First things first, yeah, Mortarion has a face like Jigsaw from Punisher Warzone. Um, I pointed out on Facebook yesterday. But beyond that, the colour palettes. This is very bright colour palette. And it's not very nurgly. It's a lot of blues. There's a lot of pure whites in his cloak. Um, strong purples. They're not the colours of disease and decay that you really think of. When you look at this Nurgle Ward, he sees dark, dreary greens and has this nasty, decaying flesh. And none of this is shown on this uh, Mortarian model. In fact, more emphasis has been put on the fact that he's got all this extra bling and shit hanging off him and all these sculpted on smoke effects. Free advice to Games Workshop. I've not met a single one of my close friends yet who actually likes the sculpted on smoke. Everyone thinks it should be an optional extra, and I know in some parts, like on the scythe, it is. But in a lot of other parts, like down here on the cloak, it's not. Stop doing it, people don't like it. Anyway. Clearly, this is something special. This is more important than this Demon Prince. This Demon Prince of Nurgle is just a generic Demon Prince, and Mortarian is fucking Mortarian. I still don't think his face is right. Again, you look at all the shit that's going on on him. His face is this tiny, tiny little bit here. Right in the middle. And you're not drawn to it. And even when you are, it's got all this shit in the rebreather and the slime hanging off it that draws your attention away from his eyes. This smoke effects and that kind of thing going on up top and all the shit hanging down below is 
what's drawing your eye into this model, and I think that's wrong, and I stated that in the Deconstructing Mortarian video. Another thing to point out is, go and have a look at how he's painted up close on Games Workshop's website. All this chain mail hanging off him is silver. It's not rusty. It's not tarnished. It's not leaked rusty oils and fluids and whatever onto his clothing, to his cloak. No, it's just nice, clean, silver chain mail. And it, something in your brain says that looks different. I'm not saying bad, I'm saying different. It's a different style of Nurgle to what you've seen before. When you've seen Nurgle in the past, it's always been this sort of, you know, his blade is all notched and like it's been sitting in the ground and rusting for some time. And yeah, it's still pretty clean, but it feels dirtier. The choice of colors it says dirty. This new stuff doesn't. It's little things like broken bits of horn sticking out and all different sizes of horn. The pustules, the exposed flesh, none of that is existent on this model. But let's not compare a demon Primarch who's a very, very special character to a generic demon prince. Let's look at the infantry. Here's those same plague marines from earlier. Here's the new plague marines. Old ones, new ones. What's the difference? Alright, let's work from the head down here. So in the faces we have these grey, pale, decaying flesh. Here, this nice healthy pink flesh and yeah he's got a bit of flab going on, a bit of a margin boo look about his face but really, doesn't look that bad off. Looks like he's just obese as opposed to decaying. When you look at the armour, the armour itself it's pretty clean. It's not cracked and distended like these guys. It, bits of flesh showing through from underneath like it's breaking apart and it's just it's like it's normal marine power armor except for you know obviously this big mouth in the middle of it but again there's a big mouth in the middle of it these guys don't have anything like that they have bones and trophies and decaying flesh and skulls and that kind of thing hanging off them these guys are all about trinkets little brass um, balls and flies and things like that and these feel really clean the only thing that's Nurgle about them is the colors and even then the colors don't look right look how dirty and off these ones feel and look how dirty and off these ones don't feel okay he's at least got a little bit of rust on but still these changes three-quarters of the problems people have with these models is entirely down to the paint job you change the paint job on these slightly it totally transform the feel of these models. Instead of having a rich purple tabard, for example, a little cloak, one cloth hanging down on this guy, change it to a, an off-white and have just like dirt and stains and urine and whatever on it, straight away it'll feel nastier. Not only that, but these guys, their armor is all pretty well proportioned still, whereas when you look at these guys, their shoulders are starting to bulge out in places and Things about the beer bellies on them look really weird and creepy and they're twisted and gnarled and in joined into their flesh. Whereas on the new ones, the pieces of armor seem to almost just be like decorated in a lot of ways compared to mutated. And instead of having a diseased falling apart vibe like on the putrid blight kings for example, um, where they had you know pustules and intestines hanging out and that kind of thing, no these guys just have some tentacles. It's like they're trying to convey to you that these are Nurgle through Zench-like mutations, and it doesn't work like that. Look at some of these new characters coming out. Yes, Nurglings on the base having fun is fine. I'm 100% cool with that because that's the Nurgling character. That's something that's been established, how they're little gremlins. You know, they just have fun. They're like the purest representation of Nurgle's happiness. Let them have their fun. But again, on the characters, this is nothing like Necrosis. This is nothing like the previous Demon Prince. This is just some dude who's got, you know, a beer belly and a couple of cracks in his armor and... It, it doesn't draw people in as a Nurgle aesthetic for some reason. And again, I think a lot of it comes down to the color palette. Look at the new Typhon. The new Typhon is just a clear example of just overloading the model 
with things it probably didn't need and it's not helped by the fact that the leaked image is on a bit of an angle to the camera that took the image but look at the little bits of horn for example for his destroyer hive they funnel outwards they've got the proportions of like how do i describe this like when you have a actual show uh like star wars for example is a good one and then they make a tv cartoon version of it like the clone wars and you notice all the proportions slightly change on the characters and so now they've got like you know bigger hands bigger faces bigger disney eyes this is like the model equivalent of that where he's got these big cartoonish funnels of horn coming out of his armor with these soft little floaty baubles of cloud drifting out of them gently into the breeze it doesn't look fucking right does it i'm fine with the flies and that kind of thing that look like they're out of metroid villains but honestly this model is just it doesn't look like typhus typhus is always low center of gravity nailed to the ground this immovable object it was all in the body language of just standing there like a brick shit house holding his scythe now he's like some champion raising his scythe into the air with his nice clean armor and his nice clean little red loincloth and his tiny 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 little bits of chain mail it doesn't look right and i'm not saying it's bad i'm just saying it's totally different to the established nurgle design aesthetic and this is totally fine if you want to try and draw in a different crowd and kidify your game. But I don't know that it's necessarily going to appeal to the people who already love Nurgle. Let's go on. If this guy here, I think it's like the biologist Pur Putria or something like that it's called. Uh, if this model here doesn't sort of reek to you like the Festus of 40k, I don't know what will. His armor is perfectly highlighted with nice edge highlighting beautiful games workshop style but he doesn't look very nurgly oh he's got a little bit of a tentacle here i guess but mostly he's just a fucking whole bunch of jars and vials hanging off him doesn't feel right doesn't feel like a plague marine just looks like a green mark three armored marine with a few weird mutations and i'm not quite sure if it's the sculpt or the paint job i think it might be the paint job again because if you go for that traditional off-white color or that really pale green and make it look dirty that's great but this is a very cartoonish color scheme that's been used look at this plague surgeon here again we have these rich purple crimsons um, for his hood and cloak when really it needs to be an off-white even in the area where he does have white it's still pretty clean that's not nurgle nurgle that cloak here would be nasty looking and the blade this blade looks cool it's like a saw teeth on it and mutation stuff running down it but again that's not nurgle nurgle's blade would be a blade that looks like some guy died using it in a battle 500 years ago and it's been sitting in the ground rotting away and rusting up and then this guy's just come along found it and started using it that's what a nurgle sword looks like this does not look like a nurgle sword and again, not saying it's a bad thing, saying it's a different thing. Why does he have um, such a happy expression on his face? Where previously they had, again, that grey skin tone, the slothing flesh, bone being exposed through the skull. This guy's got a nice pink, good, you know, flesh consistency. Maybe he needs to get a little bit more sunlight. Maybe take a little better protection of his skin, but, you know doesn't feel nurgly it feels more like with a few subtle conversions you can make yourself a nice emperor's children uh, apothecary out of this maybe get rid of this arm replace it with some mark IV, change out the backpack and ba bam you're there and obviously you probably have to fill in a few of these little holes but yeah that's neither here nor there what about the tally man what does the Tellyman of Nurgle have to do with Chaos Space Marines? This is more like the Epidemius role of demons, where you have an interesting character on the demons who embodies the philosophies of Nurgle. The Chaos Space Marines uh, hate themselves, hate what they've become. The only guy who's happy that he's serving Nurgle is Typhon, or Typhus, as he's known in 40k. Um, this guy, his role doesn't make sense to me. But 
that's just me nitpicking. Same same problems as previously, by the way. Um, why does he have these purity seal things on there? Why is not all his cloak and those purity seals all rotted away? And why is he not really mutated? Except for just like little tentacles. Tentacles does not equal corruption. Can we just clear that? Tentacles do not equal corruption. What about these Terminators? Blight Lord Terminators. Um, I like the fact that they've used different marks of armor, like they've cobbled together their armor over time. But by the same token, I'm clean tabards. Oh, he has a Nurgling coming out of his armor. That's crazy. These guys should have like open guts with intestines spilling out to the ground, covered in ooze and rotting uh, fluids from their bodies. These guys don't look like that. They just look like... I don't know, corrupted by Nurgle, but just corrupted by chaos. And plus, this big ball and chain that this guy's swinging around, this flail, it's got some of those lame sculpted on smoke effects as well, because the problem with CAD design is that people just think, should I add it? And instead of that little part of their brain saying, no, 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 you've hit that point where it's just right, instead that part of their brain's silent and they just go, no, no, I'm just gonna add more shit. I'm just gonna add more and more and turn it into visual diarrhea. And that takes us to the end of this episode. I know it probably sounds like I'm bitching the whole time, but I just think the aesthetic of Nurgle has changed. It's gone from a very grim, dark faction to a very jovial faction. Um, 40K's Chaos Space Marines embody what Nurgle's demons always embodied which was fun times, how good's the plague? It's like the children's version of Nurgle. If you have two versions of the same thing, like Lego and Duplo, or Technique, Lego Technica or whatever, it's like your kid's version of the Millennium Falcon where the action figure's three inches tall and has giant feet and hands and, you know, it's ages four and up. And then there's like this other version, it's like, the nine thousand dollar deluxe collector's action figure with real hair, and they're, they're two totally different feeling things. And again, not saying it's a bad thing. I just I'm curious as to why the change. Probably something to do with trying to pull more kids into the hobby, but at the same time, you're you're killing your hobby slightly doing that because you're taking something that's great about your IP, the fact that you had a diseased, rotting faction that was so bitter as the Death Guard and you've just dumbed it down to this oh they're evil but they're happy evil it just I don't know I don't know I'm Mac with the Outer Circle thanks all for watching the episode leave your thoughts and feedback below and I'll talk to you all next time